Okay. Some people might not know this about me. There might be some that do if you've ever read my blog or you've known me from Nano or anything like that. You know that I am a little bit of a closet gamer. More closet because I don't really talk about it a lot and I don't get to do it as often as I'd like. My husband's got me got me hooked on doing Dungeons and Dragons. I prefer love I prefer version 3.5 and I've been play testing next sort of play testing it. I'm play testing it in the way or the, the form of doing it for writing because I'm more of a writer than anything. For me, that's what I love about Dungeons and Dragons is that I can create my own worlds, I can create my own characters. I mean, I can just go nuts. I am the DM. I am all I'm every single NPC and I'm also every single character. And I love that. That for me is the winning thing for that. But my husband likes to play it D&D too, over obviously we weren't getting hooked on it, and we haven't been able to really do a lot of the gaming that we want to do because schedule conflicts and all that, and he just doesn't have enough time to do the DM stuff that he'd like to do. So we decided to get the new D&D Wrath of Astartalon. Well, it's not really new; it's been out for a while. I think it's level four. It's what it uses, but we're just we, we're trying it, giving it some fun. And we'll see how that goes because it's got everything. It's all everything. It comes with the rule book, which is a lot smaller than. Oh, there it is. Oh, oh. Then say the DM guide or player's handbook two. And that means player's handbook too, which means there is a first part to it. It's huge. That's just that's just three point five. We've seen four stuff, and we don't really like four. Um, but and then it's got the other original games and stuff like that for information on that. And then the adventure book. It's got the adventures already made out for you, so it makes it a little easier. And there's less planning involved. All we have to do is like get food and stuff. First comes with. Big dragon. Well, big, sort of. We have one dragon that's sitting up on top of our bookshelf that's like almost, I think it's about a foot tall. It's the gargantuan red dragon. It's the biggest dragon that um, Wizards of the Coast has released in miniature size. Um, then we have encounter cards. And we have other cards. I'm not quite sure exactly what everything is, as you can tell. I just opened the package. Had a little bit of drama with that. I'll discuss that later. Cousin's not going to be too happy with me opening everything, but he can just deal. Um, these would be our characters. This one is Kayla, Elf, Paladin. I I'm planning on taking better pictures using my big camera. We have Heskin, a dragonborn wizard. Once I get the pictures up and get those done, they're really cute. It's a, it's a dragon. It's a dragon being. We have Vistra, dwarf fighter, which I do believe is it is a female dwarf. We have Tarak, half orc rogue. I'm trying to figure out how a half orc can be a rogue. How does a half orc sneak around and do that? I guess maybe he just does the traps. He's less likely to get blown up. Then we have. Quinn, human cleric. Quinn. Okay. We have more. There are a lot of miniatures that come with this. It's a door. Dorger guard. Another guard. 
Orc Smasher. Orc Smash. Smash Smash. Sorry. We have a range, an orc, I think it's an orc ranger. Archer. I don't know why I said ranger, it's an archer. I knew that. Another orc ranger. Ain't archer. I keep saying ranger instead of archer. I know what I'm talking about. I just do it wrong. Another guard. Sm and then, uh, one more archer and two more smashers. I wanted a beholder. They're really cool looking. Beholders are cool. This is Mar Margrath, the border captain. He's got a two-handed mace. I just re I'm really showing my my nerd status here, aren't I? With knowing or nerd geek whatever. It's Velox, a a gauth. G a u t h. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it. Um. Orc Storm Shaman. And he's wearing a wolf pelt for a hat. A kobold! So I'm a little disappointed. There are no halflings rogues. I always play a halfling rogue. A halfling rogue or an elf wizard. And three of Grells. Okay, we'll just leave those out there. We have a big mofo. I don't know what it is. Nice. Um, cave bear. Bear. These are, in case you haven't noticed, these are unpainted miniatures. At some point, I'm probably going to be doing works in progress because we're going to try and do our own, uh, paint them ourselves. We're going to get, like, some army men and some paint and practice with army men before we work on these. But we're, you can still play them even when they're not. <coughs> Ugh. Cool, but, oh, no, no, no. Cobalt. Lots. That's three more. So a total of three more cobalt included in that bag. I haven't even reached anything. I still have another bag in here. Um. It's a mouther. Oh, a gibbering mouther. It's kind of cool looking. Two more cave bears. Oh, and it's a total of three gibbering mouthers. Okay. A rage drake. Can't really see the detail because, well, my webcam sucks. Um, a snake. A legion devil. Human cultist. A legion devil. A human cultist. Devil. Cultist. And two more snakes. So that's the miniatures. Not including the big dragon, which I'll go ahead and take out of its big package. This, oh, oh, I about threw away my D20. That wouldn't have been a good thing. You need that D20. Your attack bonus. This is a Shardalon. So we're playing, I guess, to defeat this. It doesn't look that big and scary. But here. We'll go with half work. 
Looks a little bit big and scary now, doesn't it? <laughs> so, yeah. Um, oh, these open up like a cigarette package. Okay. And these are their got traps. So yeah, these are all encounter cards. Sort of. We have sequence of play. And then we have a few s these recipes are I think are encounter cards. And sequence of play. You've got the hero phase, exploration phase, and villain phase. For one, this is just an example. On your turn, complete these phases in order. Like hero phase. If you have zero hit points, use a healing surge token if one is available. Perform one of the following actions. Move and then make an attack. Attack and then move. Make two moves. Exploration phase. If your hero occupies a square ad adjacent to an unexplored edge, go to step two. Otherwise, go to the villain phase. Step two is draw a dungeon tile and place it with its triangle adjacent to an unexplored edge. Draw a monster card and place that monster on a new tile. And then... If you didn't place a tile during your exploration phase, or if you place a tile with a black triangle, draw an encounter card. If a villain is in play, activate it. Activate each monster tra and trap you control and turn in the order you drew them. So you got those. And then you've got... I'm hoping it's not the only trap cards, because right now there's only three. Three trap cards. It says encounter, but the trap cards. And we have so these are all monsters. Yeah, okay, there we got the monsters. 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 Got your monsters. Nice stack of monsters. Spells, items, um, potions, charms, that kind of stuff. Um, chambers. I hear your phone. Adventures. More adventures. Nope. Oh, weird. We've got adventure. There we go. Enca encounters, adventures. I'm just going through everything and looking at it. Boon, which is um, bypass guards, uh, traitors, clobbered, t kobolds. looking very similar to some of the games that I would see uh, Will Wheaton do on his uh, I forgot what it's called. He's got a web show that they play games. I can't think of what it's called now. At some random point today I'm going to yell it out and be like, oh, that's the name of it. Cleric cards. We have some clerics and we have Fighters and Dwarven Daily Pirate Fighter. Uh, so these are basically all these characters. Yeah. Characters, basically. With little character add ons, I think, is what they are. I haven't, like I said, I haven't read the instructions, so I'm not 100% sure. Ouch! Curses. We have the environment. Events. Vent attacks, hazards, and a, and one more trap. So that's the cards that are involved. And then it's got because it is a board game. The board it's got uh, four boards. Dun there's dungeon tiles and there's treasure and there's five hit point tokens and a monster hit point tokens and 
all that kind of stuff. Um, Orc Shaman, Rage Drake, places where you find the monsters and stuff like that. So, days, spots, and so it's gonna be, it's gonna be an interesting game. I think we're gonna have, I think my family and I are gonna have some fun playing it. Um, I will see. I'm not sure how I'm gonna work anything or if I'm gonna like do videos or anything of it. We'll see on that. Probably not. I'm not Will Wheaton. I don't have enough people and depends on if my friends and family would be okay with doing that. Um, but I think we're gonna at least, if nothing else, we're gonna have some fun. And honestly, I think that's what really matters. Are we gonna have fun? Yes. What are we gonna do? Who knows? Um, and then I said something about, you know, there was a little bit of drama involved with getting this. It wasn't actually the purchase or anything like that that was the drama. We got it at the Amazon for 56 total is what we spent with shipping, which by the way, the shipping ended up being free. So Amazon through Amazon. Um, Cobalt are so tiny. They're so tiny. They're like the size of my thumb. Anyway, but it was supposed to arrive today. Well, so I was like, going, God, I can go shopping. So I went shopping yesterday. I had to get stuff for a wedding that I'm going to be going to. And, well, check tracking. And it says it's been shipped. And it's already arrived. So I go to the office. They can't find the box. Oh crap. So, contact everybody. Contact UPS. See what they say. They say I have to contact Amazon. So I thought, I'll check the office one more time. She double checked. I live in apartment five. It looked like a six. I can understand that. I looked at it and it looked like a six to me. I would have thought it was a six. I think the only, only one. Which means there's a very good chance that when I'm thinking that there's not a note, that maybe they left the note on my neighbor's apartment. And something like that. Uh, but, to the check, I have it. That's all that matters, I guess. And, um, 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 did I say um enough? This gun is really good, by the way. It's using the Split to Fit by Denty Nice. Chewing it like crazy yesterday. Sharing it with my friend. But anyway, I think that's it. I think I've got one enough. Um, at some point, I'll get some more pictures up on my Flickr. I'll link Flickr down there. If anybody wants to see it, I doubt anybody will. There's not anything else interesting in it. I'll do a little, I'll do a set for it. So that oh, I'll just have to link the set. Um... That's it.